the saints will, will rise just as darkness continues to, you know, increase. May the kingdom of God increase. Amen. May we increase. May the kingdom of God increase. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set the cap. I feel the anointing on that. Set the captives free. Come on. Bring them on in. Share the love of God. Share the love of God. Share the love of God. Share the gospel for it is the power. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Shartia and I'm so grateful that you're here. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you with me today. So today I'm going to be praying a prayer for spiritual wisdom. Um, and this is from Ephesians 1 starting at verse 15 and this is a prayer that paul prayed for the saints in ephesus therefore i also after i heard of your faith in the lord jesus and your love for all the saints do not cease to give thanks for you make a mention of you in my prayers that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him so father we pray that we would have the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of you, I pray that we will begin to know you for who you are, not for what we've thought about you, not for what we hear about you, not for um, what, the, what the church, what the pastors have said about you, God, but give us a spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of who you truly are. I pray for greater encounters in this season, that God, that you would reveal yourself to your children, oh God, those who you have called as well as those who you have chosen. We're praying that we would know you in a new way. In Jesus' name, verse 18 says, the eyes of your understanding being enlightened, that you may know what is the hope of his calling? And this is a two-part prayer point because the first part is Paul praying that the eyes of our understanding may be enlightened, that we may know what the hope of his calling is, which means we have to know what the Lord is calling us to do because each of us in the body have a very specific part that we should be um, doing right partaking in but if we don't know the hope to which he's called us to we are blinded we don't know we're just here and we're thinking we're wa walking in it we're thinking we're operating in it and we have no idea so I pray father that you would um, reveal to us the hope to which you've called us to oh God there are so many people who have you know a purpose a specific purpose for your kingdom and we must know what that is. So I pray that we would seek your face, that we would spend time in your presence, that we would get to know your voice, oh God, so that we may know the hope to what you've called us to. And the second part says, and what are the riches? And what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? So Father, reveal to us what are the riches in or the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints. I'm gonna stay right here because Yes, what are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints? Hmm. Lord, reveal to us the riches of the glory of your of your inheritance in the saints. Amen. And that even makes me think about the benefits, um, the riches of glory. Again, what Paul was was mentioning in the first part of Ephesians 1. Um, verse 19, it says, and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe? Now, this is deep because when I think of the when I think of the greatness, right, the exceeding greatness of his power toward us, I automatically think of the Holy Spirit that dwells within us. Right. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead is the same spirit that lives within us. Greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. So, Father, I pray that you would. Allow us to know the exceeding greatness of your power toward us who believe in you. So as we have faith in God, we are able to recognize the exceeding greatness of his power toward us, his power in our lives, his power in our faith. We can begin to see his power in our family, his power being revealed in our business, his power being revealed in relationships, come on, his power being revealed in our hearts. Amen. According to the working of his mighty power, which he worked in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all principalities and power and might and dominion in every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in that which is to come. So, Father, help us to know our identity in you, Father. Those who are clueless, those who are afraid, those who do not know you, we pray that they will get to know you so that they can have a better revelation of who 
who they are in you, oh God. We pray that you will reveal to us, oh Father, the power. Come on, we just pray this, the power that, that worketh within us, oh God. Just as you see the Jesus in heavenly places, oh God, at the right hand, um, at, at your right hand in heavenly places, we pray that we will know that we have been seated just as Jesus has. We have been seated far above all principalities and power and might and dominion. So we, I even think about Ephesians 6, um, Ephesians 6, for we do not wrestle with flesh and blood. So Father, um, yes, reveal that to us. Help us to know our identity and our authority in Christ. And um, just as you put all things under his feet and gave him to be head over all things, come on to the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. So just as the Lord has given us dominion over all things um, in the earth, the, the Bible says that God made man a little lower than angels. So, Father, we thank you. We thank you for your love for mankind. We thank you, God, for just the value that we have as humans, like as human beings. Um, we thank you, Father, that you have adopted us into your kingdom. We thank you, God, that we have um, sonship in you, God, that we are sons of God, that we're daughters of God, that we can walk in the fullness and the boldness of all that you've called us to be, God. And we pray this in Jesus' name. I pray that you would continue to give us wisdom, revelation, the knowledge of who you are. God, continue to empower us to walk in the things of God, to fulfill the mission of God here on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, I pray that you will receive this prayer for spiritual wisdom, um, just as the saints received it from Paul. Amen. Um, and yeah, I pray that the Lord will begin to raise up his chosen ones, those who are called um, according to his purpose, those who have been called and chosen to fulfill the work of the kingdom. So yeah, um, I pray that you guys are blessed. Receive this prayer. This is all done in love and Again, I, I truly believe that um, the saints will, will rise just as darkness continues to, you know, increase. May the kingdom of God increase. Amen. May we increase. May the kingdom of God increase. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Set the cap. I feel the anointing on that. Set the captives free. Come on. Bring them on in. Share the love of God. Share the love of God, share the love of God, share the gospel, for it is the power of salvation. It's the power of God to salvation for everyone who believes. Okay, I'm done, y'all. I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.